sell here. So Sony is making the successor to Xperia 1, which was the first mainstream phone to have a 21 to 9 cinema wide aspect ratio. Last year, Sony adopted a new design language to set themselves apart from the ever crowded smartphone market. And now that the MWC is approaching next month, we got the first look at Sony's new flagship, which could be named the Xperia 2 or Xperia 5 Plus, or I don't know because Sony sucks at naming their phones. Anyway, the phone looks similar to the Xperia 1, except the bezels here look slimmer both at the top and bottom and at the sides as well. And I gotta admit, this phone looks beautiful. It has an elegant and clean design, just like the old Xperia Z days. When others are putting a cancerous tumor at the back of their phone, Sony decided that they won't follow this hideous trend and will make it look clean with a vertical triple camera setup which also has a time of flight sensor. That being said, after two years of absence, Sony is finally bringing back the one feature absolutely loved by the audiophiles. Yes, the headphone jack is making a comeback. In 2018, Sony dished it from their flagship phones, basically saying that they removed it because everyone was doing it. By everyone, they meant Apple, and that invited a lot of outcry from their loyal fans. You see, audiophiles are very disturbed by the trend of Android manufacturers affirming the false notion that Apple is a tech leader in ditching what is easily the cheapest, best, and most used solution to the audio on the go. It seems weird to extol the virtues of a piece of nearly 140 year old tech in this day and age, but the reason why it's persisted this long is that it works. It's a solved issue. Not only the headphone jack is cheap, but it's durable, small, and high quality. It can support inexpensive headphones, and it can support the best headphones all with one universal standard. Not only that, but it's an easy way to enable the use of microphones as well. It's a fantastically versatile piece of tech that hasn't really been changed all that much since the plug was reduced in size to 3.5mm in the 1950s. Obviously, headphone jack isn't the only way you can listen to music, Bluetooth headphones exist, and they work well for most people. But the problem is, they don't work well for all people. Audiophiles probably aren't too keen on being unable to listen to high bitrate files, and there's no shortage of reasons why you wouldn't want to deal with the added hassles of wireless tech. Which is why smartphone companies have used both in tandem for so long, it offers the pickiest listener's quality that Bluetooth can currently touch while enabling users who want to dish the cable. There's almost no reason not to have both, especially when the cost to manufacture the Jag is so cheap. Thankfully, Sony somehow understood that, and they are bringing it back on their next flagship phone. Speaking of flagship, the Xperia 2 will have top-of-the-line specs, including stereo speakers up top and bottom. Fingerprint scanner, though, is a capacitive one placed at the side. The handset should go official next month at the Mobile World Congress, and I hope Sony doesn't take forever to release this handset for the consumers to buy like they always do. In perhaps the biggest surprise of the consumer electronics show, Sony, the Japanese consumer electronic giant, revealed an electric car called the Vision S. That's right, Sony is entering the car market. It's a concept car, but it looks like Sony has all plans to mass produce it in the future, so that means consumers could buy it. The car was built in partnership with auto manufacturer Magna. It has a whopping 33 sensors for monitoring both the inside and outside the car. There are other tech from BlackBerry and Bosch built into the car as well, and also it has Sony's 360-degree audio system. Now that Sony is into the car industry, it won't be far-fetched to imagine a car in the future from smartphone giants like Samsung and Apple. Anyway, do consider subscribing for all the latest content on tech, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.